Everything G4 and their hosts have done and said since Frost Kieran's meltdown has been scrutinized. People are very disappointed that they'd allow a caster to go on a live stream and rant about how terrible their viewers are and how bad the industry is and Frost's only made it worse. Going on social media, calling out YouTubers who have been critical of her statements and said debate me, yet she has done no interviews and then she deleted everything off of her account. But now there is a new G4 controversy about viewbotting that I really wanted to talk about. But before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or supporting the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description and of course I do really appreciate all of the support. So I thought that we'd start off with their social blades for the G4 YouTube channel and the G4 Twitch channel. Now, as you guys know, when the Frost Kieran situation went on, they lost thousands of subscribers on YouTube and thousands of followers on Twitch. Of course, this was the time frame when Frost went on her rant, but the views have been pretty consistent. Of course, sometimes Social Blade doesn't show all of the views for a day and it throws them into the next day's view count. But for the most part, as you can see, pretty consistent views here. And if we go on over to their Twitch channel, it is a very different story. Their view count is all over the place. It is absolutely crazy how all over the place it is. And people have been talking about this again. People have been scrutinizing everything that G4 and their hosts have done over the past couple of weeks. A lot of people were really hoping that G4 was going to come back to the internet and they were going to make amazing top-of-the-line content, but unfortunately, as we've seen, that didn't happen. But if we look at their views, at the very top of this list, 280,000, 128,000, and this is on their Twitch channel, 617,000, but then it drastically dips and it never quite recovers to those previous numbers, but it goes to... 4,756, 561 daily views. And then it does go up a little bit to 8,000, 9,000, and even 10,000. But as you can see, their numbers have been all over the place. And usually we see some kind of stability with Twitch numbers, with live viewers, whatever the case may be, usually there's some kind of stability. And I want to show off their VODs in a minute, but a couple of days ago, there was a giant stream that they did called D&D Presents Invitation to Party the Scoundrels of Waterdeep. This VOD on their Twitch channel has, at this time, 590,000 views. That is a lot of views for a Twitch VOD. And one of their hosts and one of their screenwriters, as it says on Twitter, decided to take a screenshot and post it on his Twitter account saying, Invitation to Party had over 30,000 viewers tonight. Let's go. So this is a live stream that had 30,000 views active users and a lot of people think that this is the nail in the coffin this proves that they were view botting F again this vod has 590,000 views on it and apparently there were 30,000 active viewers in this live stream and it does look like it got to the front page of twitch it was kind of a promoted live stream but if we look at this chat it is moving so slow you would expect for a chat with 30 thousand people it would be moving faster than this some of my live stream chats with a hundred viewers go faster than this and it's not like it's completely dead there's absolutely no one chatting in here but clearly you can see there aren't a lot of people that are actually chatting which makes a lot of people feel like there's no possible way that this could have 30,000 real active viewers at a time. And, and of course, their VOD numbers are all over the place. And usually channels on things like Twitch and on YouTube, they have kind of an average, their normal range. Of course, if they get promoted to the front page, they're going to get tons of new followers, tons of new viewers. But it's very suspicious that their VOD numbers are 
all over the place. I mean, one has 600,000 and then one right next to it has 33,000. 21,000 for their latest VOD that's up on their channel. 21,000. Again, they have another one with 300,000 views, but then one just a couple of days before had less than 10,000 viewers. Of course, sometimes content does matter. Sometimes VODs will get less views if the content isn't as good, but we're talking about basically all the same content here. It's just very, very suspicious. And of course, a big reason why people think it's not crazy to assume that their view botting is this controversy that happened back in 2018. And I've talked about this before, but Kevin Pereira's The Attack Channel banned on Twitch for view botting. Of course, this situation with view botting happened back in 2018, but it's still Kevin Pereira. He was a host of G4 back then, he's a host now, and people are worried that he might have view botted this channel since numbers were dropping after the frost meltdown. It says, though, although exact details appear to be sketchy, it appears that Kevin Pereira's The Attack Channel has been banned from Twitch. He actually had taken it down and then it got banned, but the ban stems from the usage of view botting to bolster the dwindling viewer count for the channel. For those unaware, he co-hosted Attack of the Show on G4 from 2006 to 2012, and afterward in 2014, he created the Attack on Twitch, an intended spiritual successor to the rather successful TV show. Now, however, the Twitch channel appears to have been slowly dying, with a peak viewer count of around 300 viewers a week. He then, of course, used the excuse that he had a team who relied on the channel for a paycheck, and that's why he view bought it. Now, I personally don't think that that's a good excuse to view bought. I understand that he's trying to view bought to bring more people in, but ultimately, it's still view botting. It's still against the terms of service, and I do not respect you if you view bought. And going on over to the Reddit, of course, they are still censoring anyone who's saying anything bad about G4 and anyone who's questioning G4 yesterday, oh, two days ago, excuse me, someone said, so what's this about view botting? And the moderators removed it. Someone simply asked what was going on with the view botting controversy that's going on currently. And people are saying things like they obviously weren't view botting. The streams with super high viewer counts were the streams where they were on the front page. But the problem is that the chat doesn't line up. Yes, they might have been on the front page, they might have gotten promoted, whatever the case may be. I've heard multiple people saying multiple things, but they still had 30,000 people in this live stream and the chat was barely moving. It's just extremely suspicious. And I know at this point, multiple people have talked about the view botting controversy. Obviously, it's just my opinion. I do not have hard evidence that they were view botting, but clearly something doesn't add up here. But that's all that I really had to talk about in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.